you guys what's up it's me i'm back again with another video y'all already know as you guys can see from the title of this video we're gonna get into some things so let's get right into it so i received the message from one of you guys and i guess you guys wanted me to review this situation and talk about it and give you guys my thoughts and feedback so i figured Okay, why not since you guys love to hear me voice my opinion on certain things I don't know why I like to hear me even talk, but anyway, that's a whole nother story Yes, I know um, are y'all like my Michelle Obama Bob? What is she giving? This is my first time ever doing a Bob. I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I hate it I don't know. It's so funny that I got a request to talk about this topic because Literally earlier that day I was in the car and they were talking about this on the radio and Carlos was calling in voicing their opinion and y'all already know anytime it's trans black community yeah in atlanta it was a whole y'all could just imagine the topic of those conversations but anyway i actually haven't seen the video yet i haven't heard his comments or anything it's just really hearsay what the media is saying so what we're gonna do now is go on his page watch the video so you guys can see my complete reaction on it. I'm not going to put it up on the screen or nothing because I feel like at this point you guys have probably seen it, but you guys will just probably hear it. So here we go. Let's get into this video. All right, you guys. Um, I see the mailman. Okay. Because y'all know I got to, um, I'm waiting on a package. So they're probably going to um, knock at the door while I'm recording this video. It's a little hard trying to find this video because I'm not following him, but I just Googled it and see what came up. But, all right, I think this is it. So, let me turn the volume up so you guys can get into it. And this is coming from the shade room, of course, drama. What's the thing? Tell us. Oh, I love that he's going to the march. I wish I could go. Out. There's more. And so it's going to take the efforts of everybody. You know, I've got three children, and I apologize to my own children because my kids got some foul messages from folks thinking that it's of course okay. ignorance. Because you don't understand something. Mm -hmm. Just because you don't understand something does not make it wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay, Spanish is a reach. I'm kidding. <laughs> Y'all heard that the most interesting people in the world are the most interested. All right, there's one more. Let's finish this one. Come out, share your experiences, share your creativity, share your vision of what just world without looking like. Let's get to the next one. I'm telling you. I like that he brought up trans men. Mm -hmm. Love 
All right, so I'm guessing that's it um, in a nutshell. So if you guys really didn't hear, I guess what he was talking about. I mean, after watching it now, I feel like, okay, what's the big hoopla about? But I mean, I do understand and I do get it. He's a black man talking about a controversial topic and it's him really being honest, I guess, about his attraction. Um, he's trying to find his own clarity, his own understanding. Um, and I just appreciate that for him coming to the forefront and really putting himself, I guess, really out there because a lot of men wouldn't do it in the first place. Black men especially wouldn't do it. Um, and the fact that he's famous and that he does have a platform and that he does have like, I guess, some sort of notoriety. If he says something, it's gonna go viral. You know what I mean? Especially something that's shocking, like what? You know, I like the fact that he apologized to his kids because we already know we live in a society where people will just attack you. If they can't get to you, they're gonna get to the people that's closest to you. You know, and I feel like for his kids to be attacked for their father's decisions, that's not right. You know, when people wanna come at them and again, his father isn't wrong. Just because you don't understand anything doesn't mean that it's wrong or that someone should get bullied. You just don't understand it, you know? And that's just really that. I don't see anything wrong with what he said. I feel like a lot of people need to really be honest and come out. Now, I don't want to say come out of the closet because that's like really cliche and really like, uh. I just think he is really, I guess, more so telling us that he is interested was interested bringing it to the forefront i don't know but he's still trying to find clarity on it and you know i love that he's a trans ally and he's not just saying something he's doing things too for the community to help the community and i don't even think it's a community issue i think he's just really just saying like you know it's an equality thing that's what i got from watching it i don't know what everybody else feels or what every blog is saying i know there was like a trans girl I guess addressing him as well, putting him out there, saying that she had previously slept with him. I'm not really gonna address that because again, I don't have, I don't know this man's past. I can't really judge someone based off their past or the things that they may have done because again, I don't want nobody judging me over my past and the things that I've done, you know? Not saying that we can just erase them or forget about them, but I'm just saying I wasn't there and I don't know, so I can't comment on it. All I could do is comment on his video and his words that he said. One of the things that I really loved that he brought up is the trans men. Um, now y'all already know I have trans men experience. I feel like trans men, they don't get the notoriety that they should get um, either. It's definitely hard for them out there. Um, and I feel like society counts them out some, not all, but some, you know, and they really discredit them as a man, period. You know, but like he said, if you're a trans man, you have the black, and if you're a trans man, especially a black trans man, you know, I'm sure a lot of my trans men out there, they understand what he said as far as like, relating to the black man experience because I'm sure they live it too, you know? Again, like I said, um, driving in the car, I heard opinions of people calling in, and it was one opinion that really stuck out to me the most. Someone said that um, they thought that he was being fake. Like he needs to be honest, he needs to be upfront that he's gay and he needs to really stop with the trans attractive because if you're, if you're attracted to a trans woman, then that makes you gay. We all know that's the furthest thing from the truth. That was an ignorant opinion. But I feel like just addressing the first part of that is, how is someone being fake when they're being open and honest about their feelings and really saying, you know, I'm trying to understand it. So with me trying to understand something, I have to get close to it. I have to ask questions. You know, I have to really be insightful. I have to educate myself because, you know, I don't know everything. I don't have all the answers, you know? I feel like, how is that fake versus someone being DL and they're very interested in trans women, but on the outside into society, you know, they live a straight life, heterosexual life, and you'll just never know. I don't think he said anything that's disrespectful. If anything, I applaud him for coming out for being a strong black man and, you know, setting an example because, again, I feel like if more people come out for their attraction to trans women or just trans individuals in general, then more people would, you know? That'll be okay for more people to, I guess, express their feelings about trans people as well because trust me, honey, we already know the inside. And your favorite rappers, they love us, honey. That's just it, the, the favorite ones. Rappers, singers, you name it. I'm telling you, I'm sure some of y'all got some stories. I mean, I'm happy I don't, but I'm just saying, um, 
we already know that's why you can't put anything past anyone you know because you just don't know people's history and you don't know people's private life what someone does in their private life we shouldn't judge or demonize them for coming out about it and being honest because a lot of the times you know through social media it's a lot of capping involved it's a lot of cloud chasing it's a lot of perception going on and it's a lot of deception so i feel like congrats to malik yoba for making a public statement and for really putting himself out there and you know using his platform for good i feel like a lot of people need to do that a lot of men need to do that a lot of black men need to do that and i feel like you know the world would just be a better place the only thing that we can do is just keep educating each other keep being who we are you know speaking out on these topics that are so hidden or that nobody likes to address when this is something that's been going on like this is big none of this is new you know what i mean now for an actor to talk about it maybe that's new to the world but it doesn't surprise me this is nothing that's like oh my gosh let me clutch my pearls and you know i would never think he no like no but at the end of the day someone's personal preference is just that their personal preference do i think he's gay Absolutely not. Well, at the end of the day, I feel like why are we making this a big deal? This is not really anything that's gonna be, you know, like something major. I think people are gonna wait on it. I think people are gonna wait on it, give it a few weeks to a month and everybody's gonna forget about it. We're gonna move on to the next drama with Cardi B or something, you know? But I do thank Malik Yoba for being very open, very honest and really, you know, putting it out there in the world because I, again, I feel like there's some guys now in the black community i know he's gonna get a lot of ignorance and a lot of hate but i do know that in the lgbt community he's gonna get a lot of love and a lot of support you know what i mean and in many of these situations the love always outweighs the hate you know so congrats on malik yoba and i pray for the best with him and his family you know again i know that wasn't something that was easy for him to do or even say or even come out to even stand by and you know be so public about it so again congrats to him and i want you guys to comment down below and tell me what you guys think drop it down in the comments thumbs up this video and make sure you like and subscribe i love topics like this i love talking about this i love you know really voicing my opinion because i feel like these conversations need to be had like because they've been going on y'all just haven't seen them you know what i mean if you guys like videos like this Thumbs up this video because, again, I'll do more reaction videos if you guys want me to. And until the next video, you guys.